<laughs> he's just a wincing. Speaking of Chip, uh, Pastor Frank doesn't have his talk talk anymore. So praise the Lord for that. Um, I'm not really supposed to be up here. I just um, I'm just introducing our ladies who have got something to give. Unfortunately, Lynn, we didn't have any puha in the garden. We see you've got a, a lot of flowers there, and we tried to hunt for some. <laughs> we tried to hunt for some watercress and some and some puha to make you a nice, beautiful, edible, chippable um, bouquet. <laughs> um, and um, you know, uh, I knew this young man from from uh, from three years ago. <laughs> And uh, he's my neighbour. So uh, it makes it easy when you're supposed to witness to your neighbour. Because he's my neighbour, well, I can tick that one off the list. Uh, but it's, it's been a pleasure to know um, Frank and Lynn and uh, Raniera. And um, if uh, Brother Robbie was alive today, I can just hear him saying... Well, boy, it's about time. It's about time. And uh, we look forward to the day where we see our loved ones who have passed on before us. Um, and we will be able to celebrate um, that time. Uh, uh, Lynn, thank you for, um, you know, everybody uh, addresses... Um, addresses the mail, and I'd just like to switch that on its end and, and address you. Thank you for putting up with Frank for all these many, many years. <laughs> My wife uh, nudged me in the side down the back there, but uh, you know, it's, it's awesome when you have a, um, a faithful wife um, who has a heart for souls, and so we thank you, Lynn for your ministry here. And we thank you too, uh, Brother Frank, uh, because as a team, you too, you know, it's, it's a challenge to come into the heart of Ngāpuhi, where they still make jokes about how we have people around for dinner. <laughs> and when we, you see, the previous minister that we had, everyone will always, I suppose, Try and measure you according to the last one. Is he as good as the last one? Or I hope he's not as bad as the last one. <laughs> but inevitably, I suppose, people will tend to... Uh, to, to and so we heard, we heard that, uh, that Frank was coming, and we knew that he was um, not of Ngāpuhi descent. But of course, we all know that um, um, everyone... Whakapapa is back to Ngāpuhi. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a Māori fakato that goes um um ko iru kraiti te tima tanga uh ko kai kohe te pu te feke which means Jesus is uh, is the is the beginning and the end the alpha and the omega and kai kohe is the base <laughs> so <laughs> it's been it's been wonderful having you with us Frank and Lynn and we know that, um, you know, we've come to love. Um, Jesus loves you and so do we. Ladies, could you come down and, 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 um, and could we have um, Frank and Lynn come up and we've got a, there's a little something. Just a minute. I'll see that. <laughs> <coughs> I just told uh, Sister Hockey. Now, the flowers will go to Frank and the clock to Lynn. And then, oh, oh, sorry, mistake. Swap. It's the other way around. But however, she gave it to the right guy. She, she's a bit shy. But, um, oh, well, Lana's not shy. But anyway, um, but I want my sheet back, please. <laughs> Thank you. Take it off. 
You all want to know what it is? Okay. It, it's a clock, but we, <laughs> we didn't want to make it seem as though they're never on time. <laughs> it's, it's a clock. <laughs> it says, to Pastor Frank and Lynn Tor, choose you this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Love from your church family in Northland, Te Kao Kaikohe, Te Kao Kaitaia Kaio and Kaikohe. Elders only small. If you know what they say about the writing, writing, every word that you take will be written into your account. Anyone else got a present? <laughs> Our most northern church in the conference, to Cal. Please come forward. Hi, David. Our folk are making their way down. And as you can see, no, we don't have this many members in Tokol, but as, uh, as Micah said, we're one family, and we all can fuck a papa to opodi, so keep the point in there. Yep. Let's come over. I got a phone call last week. The brother said, can you play the guitar for us for our item? So that's why us as Kaik, we didn't prepare one. We thought this was going to be our item. And um, the song is, take the name of Jesus with you, child of sorrow and of woe. It will joy and comfort give you. Take it then where'er you go. Take the name of Jesus ever as a shield from every snare. If temptations round you gather, breathe that holy name in prayer. Oh, the precious name of Jesus, how it thrills our souls with joy. When his loving arms receive us and his songs our tongues employ. At the name of Jesus bowing, falling prostrate at his feet, King of kings of heaven will crown him when our journey is complete. Precious name, oh how sweet. Hope of earth and joy of heaven, precious name, oh how sweet, hope of earth and joy of heaven. And this is also our practice. <laughs>
te mato e e Frank e te horanga te re Ellen na mihi e mihi aloha ki a kora mo kauto nei mahi e wainga nui a tato nga iwi kato te hikotika mato mato e ta mato mato e menaki tiaki iroto kora iroto i tona mahi nga ra e heke mai nei nore ra huri no kiro mai tato kato. Don't forget, Frank, you're coming to Kaitaia next Saturday and you've got Sabbath school as well. <laughs> I think it is important for us to note today Something that I'm sure is close to the heart of every, every Kiwi. Every New Zealand Kiwi and those who serve alongside us in this country that we love, Aotearoa. That the ministry of this church, the message that God has given to each one of us, hasn't been as successful or as effective to the tangata whenua as we would like. And today is a high day. Today is a new day. Today is the beginning of a new tomorrow for our Maori people. In this country, when we see the ordination of one of God's finest. And I'm sure that you all join with me today in saying, Frank and Lynn, we love you very much. We love having you on our team. And we believe that God is going to use you in a mighty, mighty way. Because we've seen it already. Just through the health message, not only in the words that you speak, but in the lives that you live. Just the impact of many people that would not have been reached in any other form of evangelism that we as a church tradi traditionally use, but you've been able to make inroads, and we praise God for that. And I challenge and ask each one of you from Te Kao, Kaio, Kaikoi, Kai Kaitaia, Stand together with your pastor and his wife. Stand strong. Kia kaha. Don't give up. Your people are precious. And the Lord is coming soon. And so this is our time. I'd like to extend the invitation that has been made by Pastor Frank today. To somebody who is sitting here witnessing this service. And God has been speaking to your heart and saying, you need to step up. Why don't you speak to Dr. Lyle while, while he's here from Avondale? Talk to somebody. Share with them the dream that God has placed in your heart. And whether it's full-time pastoral ministry or some other, other way that God has gifted you, and you haven't yet st stepped up to the capacity and the fullness that God has called you to, that you would be reminded this afternoon to the reason why we have been called Adventists. Last message to a dying world. This is our time. I would like to thank you sincerely, churches who have been working with Pastor, uh, Pastor Tor and Lynn, thank you very much for all that you have done. And I'd like to thank you all churches here in Northland for gathering here and spending Sabbath together for this year's regional and for everybody that's made it a success. And it truly has been a great day. And again, we'd like to thank Whangarei Church for hosting us here and taking good care of us. And once again, we've had more food than we could uh, eat. And... Believe me, we can eat. 
Pastor Jerry has just reminded me of an illness that touches all of us. And Julie Oliver is the wife of our division president, Pastor Barry Oliver. And just last week, she was admitted to hospital with acute leukemia. Pastor Jerry, is there any update? Maybe you could just share with us. Um, yeah, I spoke with uh, uh, Barry last night. Most of us know him as Barry, a humble leader. And uh, he had just hopped on the train. Uh, Julie is in North Shore Hospital where they have the very best facilities to treat this type of leukaemia. Uh, and uh, he had just left her. She has just completed her first week. Um, it is acute leukaemia and so she is being, um, to put it in man's terms, she's being hit with all they possibly can at this stage and she's going to be there for quite a number of weeks. Uh, but uh, he said she is in very good spirits and uh, they have just been overwhelmed by the prayer and uh, yeah, the, the texts and emails and communication uh, that have come in. So um, yeah, that's the latest. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Jerry. And I'm sure there are many other requests that we know of, but let's continue to come to the Lord in prayer that God would bless and heal uh, those who are undergoing uh, sickness at this time. I'd like to thank everybody that has made this day a success. I'd like to thank all of those involved with children's ministries this morning during Sabbath school and was able to get around to visit some of you. And I'd like to, to thank you again for what you uh, have done today and continually do in your churches each and every Sabbath. Thank you very much. Thank you to the churches involved in worship uh, this, this morning and who, have, who led out and pray that God will bless you. And also would like to, again, as I mentioned earlier, thank those who prepared and worked hard to give us such a, a great lunch. And I would like to thank everyone involved in our service this afternoon. I'm sure you would join with me in just thanking again Dr. Dr. Kendra, that message that we were blessed with this morning, and pray that God would bless your ministry as you return back to Avenel College and back to the States and, and the work that you are involved with there. And thank you also to, and you may not know some of the ministers that are here with her today, um, uh, Sarah is one of our pastors in the Cook Islands, a graduate of Avondale College, and she's here at the moment. We also have Cecile from French Polynesia, from Tahiti, and she is also thinking of ministry at the moment and is part of our team in the office there. And we also have Maheata, who is the uh, administration assistant for the union, and she joins with us here today as well, and we just want to let you know who these good people are and, and acknowledge them. I would like to just also thank Pastor Ken, Pastor Lyle, Pastor Ben for the message today, and also Pastor Jerry. Many of you know Jerry. Uh, he was conference president here, and uh, we don't get to see him as often. Uh, he has to fly off tomorrow morning to uh, Tahiti for a week. Such a hard job. <laughs> But uh, they have been ver working very hard uh, in the process of moving uh, French Polynesia from a mission to conference status, and that is almost at completion stage, and it's been quite a task that uh, he's undertaken, including many other roles that he is uh, responsible for, as you know. We haven't had Pastor Paul Rakin up the front today, but you've heard a lot about CHIP. Many of you are chipping, and we just wanted to just uh, make sure you know that he's here in case you are thinking of CHIP. Um, those of us who are still eating chips. Um, <laughs> Gary, where's Gary? Thank you very much for all the work uh, you've done with coordinating today and make sure, making sure everything has worked well. Gary, is there anybody that I have forgotten that we need to acknowledge and remember? Our musicians this morning getting... Uh, Fantastic. Let's stand together and pray and just ask God's blessing as we leave today.
Before I pray, I share with you the words of this hymn. Rise up, O, o men of God, his kingdom tarries long. Bring in the day of brotherhood and end the night of wrong. Let women all rise up, have done with lesser things. Give heart and soul and mind and strength to serve the King of Kings. Rise up, courageous youth, the church of you doth wait. Her strength unequal to her task, rise up and make her great. Lift high the cross of Christ, tread where his feet have trod. Disciples of the Son of Man, rise up, O church of God. We give our lives to you again, dear Lord. And thank you for this Sabbath rest. And pray that you would walk with us into the new week and to the challenges that await. May we always remember that just as you said to the son of that woman on that day by the dusty road, rise up. You call each one of us again today to new life in your service. And we thank you for that wonderful privilege. So all these things we say and we give to you again in Jesus' almighty and wonderful name, we pray, amen.